As usual, we've got 20 fresh dash cam videos for you this week, and we're also giving away another Viofo dash cam to a lucky viewer. Keep watching to find out how to enter. Eli was taking a friend to get his wisdom teeth removed when they watched a pickup slam into the fender of an oncoming SUV, sending it over an embankment and into an irrigation canal. Oh my God. The pickup spun around and stopped just short of hitting a power pole while the SUV plunged into the water. Eli helped the SUV driver climb out of one of the rear doors as the SUV sank into the water. In the meantime, his friend helped the occupants of the pickup, an adult and two children. First responders arrived quickly and provided aid to everyone involved in the collision. In spite of all that, Eli's friend was still able to get his wisdom teeth removed. Only a couple of weeks after Steve helped his friend Corey install a new engine in his Subaru Outback, Corey was making a protected left turn when a red light runner collided with him head on. When police responded to the scene, the driver of the black Hyundai told them her light had been green and that Corey had been speeding through the turn to beat the light. They might have believed her story if not for one thing. Corey's dash cam had captured the event, proving the other driver was lying. She was cited for failing to obey a traffic control device and for driving distracted. Sadly, both vehicles were totaled. Brian was driving past a flatbed truck when one of the front tires violently disintegrated. As the tread ripped free of the tire, it further damaged the already damaged fender. Oddly enough, the tire seemed to stay in place even as the tread clearly went flying. Can anybody tell us what happened here? Jeremy was driving home when he heard sirens and noticed flashing lights approaching from behind. He was able to pull over just in time for a minivan to go flying around him with the cops in hot pursuit. As the fleeing driver rounded the corner, they collided with a Chevy SUV that had been waiting at the traffic light. Jeremy stopped to check on the driver, and he told us she was okay. He also told us the fleeing criminals were eventually apprehended by the police. Heath was driving in England when he noticed an oncoming vehicle in his own lane. His quick reflexes allowed him to avoid striking the wrong way driver while also avoiding a pothole in his lane. For whatever reason, the reckless driver was insulted by Heath's evasive maneuver and made an illegal U-turn and started following him. Heath has experienced previous road rage incidents that became violent, so he took action. After slamming on his brakes and letting the road rager shoot past him, he quickly turned around before speeding off in the opposite direction. Of course, the driver of the red car wasn't done and he turned around as well. After chasing Heath for a while, the triggered driver finally turned and went a different way. Heath is glad his dash cam captured the other vehicle's license plate, but sadly, European laws won't let us show it. The danger now gone, he continued to pick up his girlfriend from work. He told us they always wait to watch our videos until they can enjoy them together. If you're enjoying this video, hit that subscribe button. Micah was driving in Oakland, California, a place where they still play Spot the Tesla, they just call it Count As Fast As You Can. Without warning, a Honda driver came flying up in the passing lane before threading the needle between Micah's Lexus and another Civic in the passing lane. The Honda driver then sped across all lanes before disappearing. The driver of the Jaguar following the lawnmower, I mean the Honda Civic, made the wise decision not to follow the reckless driver. Micah told us this was one of the closest calls he's ever experienced. We couldn't help but notice that Micah is using a top-of-the-line Viofo dash cam. We'll be giving one of their newest models away at the end of this video, so keep watching. Teo was on his way to a local supermarket with his friend when he started going through a roundabout. Without warning, his Kia Rio was T-boned by a Mitsubishi Triton pickup truck. Before Teo or his friend could react, the pickup driver fled the scene. 
Sadly, neither his dash cam nor the nearby security cams captured the offender's license plate number. We didn't fully understand Teo's explanation of his insurance situation, but it sounds like his own policy won't cover the hit and run. He'll probably be scrapping his Kia and buying a new car out of his own pocket. CJ was on his way home after picking up dinner when he noticed the Volvo ahead of him wasn't staying in its lane. As he continued following it, he called 911 to report the dangerous driving, suspecting the driver was impaired. While he was on the phone with 911, the Volvo driver overshot a left turn and ended up high centering his car on a boulder. Oh, they just went off the road. Oh okay. my gosh. So they're swerving. Okay, hold on. Oh my goodness. CJ immediately checked on the driver, and based on the driver's behavior and smell, he's convinced the man was intoxicated. He begged CJ not to call the police, which he already had, while trying frantically to get his car free. Paramedics and police arrived in a few minutes, but incredibly, the man wasn't charged with a DUI. The officer explained the technical reason why not, telling CJ the charges would have just been dismissed anyway. Derek was driving in Kansas City when he noticed a Corvette behind him coming in hot. The Corvette driver had nowhere to go but into the back of a Dodge pickup truck. Are you Derek told us he gave a copy of his dash cam footage to the pickup driver. Nobody was injured, but he told us the Corvette driver seemed very unconcerned about the inconvenience he'd caused to a total stranger. Thomas was driving home from school when he suddenly encountered a wild muffler in the road. When Thomas noticed the road debris, he aborted his lane change and swerved to the left, barely holding control and avoiding a collision with the median barrier. William was driving his Yukon XL around a bend when an oncoming semi-truck crossed into his lane, forcing him to swerve to avoid a collision with the trailer. When William backed up and confronted the trucker, she yelled something before driving off and crossing the lines again, this time slamming into his SUV. Both drivers stopped and first responders arrived promptly. The trucker was found completely responsible since she'd crossed double yellow lines. Fixing William's Yukon cost 9,000 US dollars. Tony was driving along with his family in their Toyota RAV4 when they encountered yet another Tesla behaving badly. That, that Tesla man can't drive. That, that Tesla man can't drive. That. When the white Model Y ignored Tony's right of way and drove across the road in front of him, he was forced to brake to avoid T-boning it. Thankfully, Tony's brakes work better than the Tesla driver's eyeballs or brain. Danny was on his way to class when he watched the driver of a black SUV T-bone a white Corolla after running her own red arrow. Danny followed the black Toyota RAV4 into a gas station parking lot and made sure she was okay. They then checked on the Corolla driver who had already called the police. When police responded, Danny gave them a copy of his dash cam footage. He then gave the Corolla driver a ride to school as he was a student at the same college Danny had been on his way to. Danny told us this was the first collision he's captured after owning a dash cam for a couple of years. If you need one for your vehicle, remember that we're giving one away at the end of this video. Rose was driving her Chevy Blazer when another driver rolled through a stop sign in front of her. Only by braking hard was Rose able to avoid T-boning the other SUV. She told us she pulled into a nearby parking lot to calm her nerves before she continued. Sammy was on his way to a party when he watched the driver ahead of him pull out onto the street and hit a passing car. Sammy told us he could tell both cars were drivable and there were no injuries, so he didn't stop. He also wanted to tell our viewers to get a dash cam. Theo was headed home from a hardware store when the truck in front of him dropped something in the road. Just before he hit it, we're guessing he thought, ah, bucket. Bucket. 
He told us he tried to dodge the Karamin canister, but it matched his moves and he ran it over. Thankfully, the only damages it caused were some light scratches that Theo told us he couldn't be bothered about. This submitter was on his way home from voting when he saw a car in the distance run into the side of a passing grain truck before being sent spinning off the road. Our submitter stopped and called 911. He told us the driver of the car looked to be uninjured, but he wasn't able to safely cross the road to check on them due to traffic. Larissa and her mother were driving down a Texas highway when the driver of a Honda CRV nearly sideswiped them while crossing multiple lanes. Larissa told us that when she posted this video on social media, people said the close call was her fault because she was driving in the passing lane. But she pointed out that she was about to pass an RV. Besides, even if she'd been in the travel lane, the CRV still would have hit her Hyundai Kona as the driver simply wasn't paying attention. What do you think? Trevor was five minutes from work when he approached a four-way stop. After a vehicle to the right went and the oncoming VW driver took their turn, the pickup in front of Trevor proceeded out of order and got hit by the VW. Remember, at a four-way stop, the vehicle that arrives at the intersection first gets to go first. The VW had come to a complete stop and began moving again before the pickup truck, so the VW driver had the right of way. Trevor told us he got a dash cam after his vehicle was struck head-on by an SUV, and he told us he recommends them to everyone. Manuel was on his way to work when he encountered a very strange-looking Tesla. Actually, it looks like this is a Ford C-Max that merely identifies as a Tesla as indicated by the decals. You know what decals would look great on that car? Why, a set of Wham Bam decals, of course. The link is in the description. Okay, time to give away a second Viofo VS1 dash cam. To enter, email us a picture of your ride using the address in the video description. It's okay if you don't drive a Tesla, any driver can enter. If you already entered last week, there's no need to email us again, you're already in. Next week, we'll announce the first winner and we'll have two more to give away after that. Good luck, everybody. Wham, bam, we got a Patreon, man. Please support the show.